Welcome back to West Texas View. Welcome back to the West Texas View. We're going to talk now about this new direction that uh, Cliff Volk has, has gone into, and that's to pr perfect a one-man show, a program that's great for churches, it's great for school groups, it's great for uh, business conferences, uh, any kind of banquet or dinner where uh, you need a motivational kind of uh, setting. And he does a uh, program as if he's John Wayne talking to the group. And when he's all dressed up, he looks exactly like it. In fact, I'd like, yeah, you can see him there. In fact, many of these clothes are clothes that he got from John Wayne when they worked in Hollywood together. And you might want to tell a little bit about that. Well, um, actually, I got it from a costume uh -huh. <laughs> a shop that, that did supply uh, various things to Bat Jack uh, Productions. But it's the, the basic ensemble, and I have two or three of these shirts. This is actually one of the newer ones. And uh, again, the show is called America Now More Than Ever. Uh -huh. And it's a 45 minute show that uh, talks, well, I open up with about a cat, talk about a cattle drive, and then it goes into a chronological uh, point of history. We, I, I started with the Revolutionary War, and I go all the way through uh, every bit of point of history from the War of 1812 to the Alamo, to the opening of the West, to the, to the uh, beginning of the, revolu of the Industrial Revolution in the 1920s and the 30s and World War II and all of that. And uh, of course it has a, uh, uh, a slant, of course, uh -huh. uh, the kind of uh, John Wayne kind of slant to it. So uh, it's, uh, again, um, taken off well. Again, we were talking about motivating oneself to get this out and not be afraid of disappointment and so on. Uh, when I worked in California, uh, you know, I, even like I have young people around here in Midland who, are, who come, you know, because they know I've done a little bit, and they'll say, well, you know, I want to go out there and, and try to make it. And I said, no, if you go out there, you've got to live, eat, breathe, uh -huh. and defecate it. Uh -huh. Because okay. if you don't, you're not going to be uh, successful gonna because it's just as there's one person that does it as well as you, there's a hundred beside you that do it just as well. And so it's like you cannot, going back to we were talking about being motivated and not losing your goal, if you at one moment, at one second, you lose that desire, that passion, you're just not going to be successful. But another thing about that, Cliff, is that once you know what you want, mm -hmm. you are able to see ways to get there that other people don't see when they don't know what they want. It's amazing how when you do that, things will just fall into uh -huh. place. Right. And it's so important, too, to be aware uh -huh. of those little uh -huh. things, that, those little chips, if you will, that fall into your, into your world. Uh -huh. And take advantage of them because if you don't then th there's somebody right behind you that's, that's going to be doing the same thing that's what i often tell young people when they say oh i'm majoring in accounting because i want to get rich and i'll say well then you'll never be a good accountant mm -hmm. or you'll never be a good movie star or never mm -hmm. be a good whatever if it's just for selfish reasons yeah well i never even when i was working in los angeles i mean i used mostly like at bit parts i was on general hospital a few p times in uh, santa barbara and i did you know quite a few commercial spots and you know, some bits and film and TV and so on. But um, I just had the passion. I, I, the goal was not to be a, a star as it uh -huh. was to get work and to work. Uh -huh. That's really what, uh -huh. what, the, what the really the goal is. And I get mean, experience. get experience. <laughs> and and, and, and if, if the break happens, uh -huh. uh, which sometimes it does for some people, sometimes it doesn't. I mean, uh -huh. uh, I mean I've been in, in uh, acting workshops in, 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 uh, something in Santa Monica where there are, uh, uh, when I was there, there were guys a lot older than me that have been doing it for years and years and years and years, and they're still in the same one-bedroom apartment they lived in for 25 uh -huh. years, but they're doing it again because they love are, it. They love it. <laughs> yeah. You know, so. Uh, so, but then as you begin to develop your character and decide this is, this is my goal and this is what I'm going to do, you set your goal that you wanted it to be a family-friendly, mm -hmm. patriotic, mm -hmm. American values type program that would really appeal. And you were surprised uh, at how the college age kids uh, accepted it. W yeah. Because I've heard some of the college age kids who said, golly, that made my, that made my <laughs> hair stand up on the back of my neck. I, Hadn't heard that in a long time. Yeah, and, and, it's, and it's true when you, when you really get down to doing the voice and doing the swagger and all of that, then they kind of remember that, well, they heard that before, uh -huh. you know, and so it, they go, wait, I've heard that voice before. <laughs> I mean, I was maybe in my living room with my father watching this movie. Oh, yeah. Oh, I liked him, you uh -huh. know, that type of thing, you know. And, uh, mm -hmm. So 
it, it, it offers kids an opportunity because e even this, 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 uh, this week, this Saturday, they're doing a whole John Wayne marathon on M M M AMC uh -huh. cable. Uh -huh. uh, you know, uh, the uh, Gallup poll still, he's been dead since 79. He's, he's still, still in the top 10. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and, and it's still, again, it, the military, even, even the young um, kids in the military are still very affectionate toward the character because of, of because they've always said, you know, he's going to John Wayne it, you know, uh -huh. meaning he's going full, full, full born and, uh -huh. and, and going to do it. Um, again, it's, it's just about a passion. And, and, and we were talking about earlier in the show about getting those goals set and, don't, and just don't give in to how, think, how you think, how old you uh -huh. think you are. Uh -huh. yeah. Because you're not that old no matter what. And, and you're only as old as you feel. You're as and <laughs> your outlook on life. And uh -huh. all that. Uh -huh. But goals is what makes you have a young outlook yeah, yeah. and uh, I, I recently got back from a, a tour of all the Mediterranean countries and when we were planning it over a year ago getting everything in place all I heard from so many of our friends was oh gosh why would you want to go there you there's terrorists and there's pickpockets and there's mm -hmm. The, they don't like Americans and they're not friendly and none of those things were true mm -hmm. we just got back and we had the most fabulous uh, visit in Egypt and uh, Turkey and mm -hmm. Italy and all those uh, Mediterranean countries it's amazing how fear yeah, oh will, and will what misguide is guide us uh -huh. in fact I think that is one one point of what's going on in our country right now we're uh, so caught up in just the element of fear it's like when FDR said the only thing we have to fear is fear, fear itself it's it is so, it is so true still uh -huh. it is so true and and that fear again divides we can, us we can talk ourselves into success or we can talk ourselves <laughs> into failure yeah yeah and this is one thing about the show is that it's 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 about it's about bringing people back together it's about neighbors it's about country it's about god it's not the big over syrup about it. it's about the fact that no matter what age you are we are all americans and we have something still to share and to give not only to our fellow uh -huh. people, our fellow human beings, but to the world. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, I so appreciate uh, uh, Cliff coming on the program to talk a little bit more about how he sets goals. And also, I want you to call him, go to his website. Yeah, I don't know if we have uh, that graphic or not. Perhaps, but yes, I think there's going to be a graphic rolling oh, we'll across your screen. Oh, yes. Uh, because it's a wonderful program for uh, your family groups. And I will be back in the next few uh, weeks and be talking more about goal setting with other people that make that an important part of their life. And also, you're going to be hearing some f for some more of our doctors at the uh, Texas Tech Health Science Centers that's going to be giving us some good information about our health. We'll talk to you next Sunday. Join us then. See you then. Join us for News West 9's West Texas View with Johnny Lou Avery. This has been a public affairs presentation of KWAB-TV and KWES-TV.